Nimbus Chaser, a Dragon Ball poem dedicated to Akira Toriyama by Jesus Pakampara. Charged up back in the day, fist clenched tight, yearning to soar on the Nimbus, bathed in golden light. But grown up life's got me down, bills and doubts the air. Would the young me recognize the hero? I just ain't there. Stuck in a rut, petty worries clouding the view. What will Goku tell me with battles he bravely pursued? Dragon balls there in our sights, let's chase the endless sky. Warp speed wishes a brand new world, let the adventure fly. The raiders helming a brand new start, let's reignite the spark. Stars ignite the night, a beacon in the dark, guiding my spirit, leaving doubt its mark. Passion reignited, burning wild and free, a fresh beginning, just Goku, friends, and me. Wishing on starlight, a miracle in sight, holding on to that fire, forever burning bright. Dragon balls gleaming like jewels, a wish on the rise, remember the warmth, the hero with my eyes. Seven spears, a power untold, a story to unfold, the hero spirit, forever bold. Singing for a brighter dawn, a future yet unfurled, starts ignite the path, a wish to change the world. Stronger I will be, pushing limits far and wide, self-love fuels the fire, with purpose as my guide. Eyes wide open, the hero I can be, this fight starts now, for a future just for me. I believe that this would be my fitting tribute to the author who I looked up to and who I read and watched the anime over and over again. From DBZ, Dragon Ball that played and Dragon Ball that played during my childhood days when my mom was teaching me how to write cursive. I loved Goku and I became a weightlifter and a wrestler in college because I wanted to be like Goku who face the odds no matter what or no matter how big it is. Dragon Ball has been a big part of me and everybody else's childhood. And all of us, even though we had bullies or tragic childhoods, we can always check on Tonami and look at Goku and be inspired with his adventures and with his innocence that never faded even if he was an adult. He never gave in to the world. That's why I loved Goku and I thank Akira Sensei for this wonderful work of art. It changed genres too. From a copy of A Journey to the West in the beginning to a space opera and then a robot fan or a sci-fi fantasy which was great and it was never done before. Then back to magic again with Dragon Ball Super. I, When Dragon Ball Super aired, I was happy because I can see and relive my childhood again and watch Goku fight one more time because I know that his adventure hadn't or haven't ended yet. And being with him for the last time, maybe perhaps with the remake Dragon Ball Daima, when he was a kid fighting Simbal and Piccolo seniors or King Piccolo's other children, I would love to watch that. And see how the plot turns out. It was their last work written by Mr. Toriyama. And I would tune in for the first season. If ever they extend it. I also wish that they continue the Dragon Ball manga. And it falls into a good writer's hand. Because I am a big fan of the series. And I can't wait to see Broly's growth. And who's stronger. Gohan Beast or Mastered Ultra Instinct, or Mastered Ultra Ego, and Black Frieza too. Well, that's it for me. Thank you for tuning in. I won't endorse anything because this is a tribute video for Akira Toriyama, and Godspeed to all Dragon Ball fans out there. Keep believing, and someday our wishes would come true.